Hello friends, welcome to the Material Welding YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my channel to get regular updates on new videos and support my work. Today's topic is preheat in welding. What is it, why is it done, and how is it done? At the end of this training video, you will learn. Preheat versus interpass versus post heating in welding. Why is preheating required? Preheat temperature requirements as per codes ASME Section 8 Division 1, ASME B31.1, B31.3, AWSD 1.1, and EN 1011-2. As well as, where to preheat during welding and easy calculation to find the preheat temperature for our viewers. So let's start. So what is preheat? Preheat means heating the material to a specific minimum temperature before the start of the welding and it is maintained till the welding is completed. As we know AWSD 1.1 defines welding preheat as the temperature of the base metal in the volume surrounding the point of welding immediately before welding is started. In a multi-pass weld, it is also the temperature immediately before the second and subsequent passes are started. We have seen that there is always confusion between preheating versus interpass versus post-heating in welding. So preheat is the temperature of the base metal in the volume surrounding the point of welding. Preheat is specified as a minimum temperature that the material must reach before welding. Preheat is usually applied for up to an hour before welding to ensure that the temperature is even and preheat is the minimum temperature. On the other hand, when we talk about interpass temperature, it is usually specified as a minimum adjacent base metal before the next welding pass is started. So compared to preheat, Interpass is the maximum temperature that has to be considered and not the minimum like welding preheat. Looking at the post heating, it is applied for hydrogen release after the weld has been completed. The post heat temperature may be the same as or greater than the original preheat temperature specified. But care must be taken note to allow the joint to cool before applying the post heat, if needed. So why preheating is required? This is a widespread question. Preheat slows down the cooling rate of weld metal, heat affected zone, and adjacent base metal thus yielding a good microstructure to the weld metal and preventing martensite formation at the microstructure level thus preventing cracking of the weld metal and heat affected zone. Preheating removes the diffusible hydrogen from the base metal and hence prevents the chance of hydrogen-induced cracking known as HIC or delayed cracking. Preheat helps in reducing the expansion and contraction rate in the weldment and weld joint and hence reduces distortion in welding. Preheat burns the unwanted material or impurities. Preheat helps to remove moisture thus helping to eliminate the porosity. Preheat lowers the residual stresses in the welding joint and preheat tends to improve the ductility of the welding joint. How to choose welding preheat temperature? There are two methods you can use to find the welding preheat temperature for material before welding. First, to refer the recognized welding codes and standards such as ASME Section 8 Division 1, ASME B31.1 or B31.3 and AWS D1.1. The second method, you can use the free welding preheat calculator available at www.materialwelding.com. The link is given in the video description.
Now, question is, how much length should be preheated? As per ASMEB 31.1, the base metal temperature before welding shall be at or above the minimum preheat temperature specified in the table 131.4.1-1 in all directions from the point of welding for a distance of 3 inch or 1.5 times of base metal thickness.